Yeah, I was just really apprehensive uh, because of the stigma of hearing aids, which is so wrongly put um, that, you know, life stops at 65 and you're hearing, you can't see, you know. So when we finished, she said, well, there's equal distribution of hearing loss. I thought, okay, I can handle that. So I guess I passed the test halfway. I, I even kind of thought, now, maybe it's a thing where I just have to wear hearing aids part-time, you know, if I'm in a crowd or something like that. You get used to the fact that they put something in your ear and you can hear it. And that, that thought of about wearing them part-time kind of dissipated. I, th I liken it to someone who is colorblind and gets a pair of glasses that they can see color. And I can hear the birds and I can hear footsteps and I don't have to have the TV blaring. I, I was just awestruck at what this little tiny machine could do in my ear. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to wear them with pride. I was just totally amazed at the world that was opening up to me. I was just so excited that I thought, you know what? I'm bigger than this. I'm not going to be intimidated. Uh, we're just going to wear them with pride. And I did mention her. I said, so do you have them in teal colored? <laughs>